Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video I will be making these curtains to cover the dining room windows that were sorely lacking privacy and I'll be doing an extreme clean on my guest bathroom. Now these are my dining room windows and while they do get a decent bit of light in at night, anyone who is walking around outside could see straight in for the lack of curtains so my husband asked me to make some curtains for them. So I got some fabric and that's what I'm going to do. So this is the fabric I picked out. It's a nice sheer fabric, but it has an iridescent sheen to it. So you have lots of blues and greens and a little bit of purple to it too. So I think this will work really well. Now I've pinned all along the seams. So I pinned on the sides and the bottom and I'm going to wait to pin the top. I'll wait to do the top until after I've sewn the sides and the bottom down. So that way I have those seams finished. Then I'm going to measure the top part, which I think works out to being about an inch and a half on each side. So I'll fold that down and sew the top down to make the little pocket for the rod to slide through. I even had my 11 year old son go outside to see if the curtains passed the visibility test and that they provided a good cover for the windows. While they were beautiful hanging just as they were, when the windows are open, um, the curtains blow out a bit more. So my husband asked me to create some pullbacks to hold the curtains back. So next I did that. Moving on to the second part of this video, which is the extreme cleaning in the spare bathroom. So I have the sink and the vanity and the mirror, the toilet and the tub um, all ahead of me and then sweeping the floor and mopping that. So I've got a decent bit of work ahead of me on this video. First things first, I'm going to take care of the shower curtain because it has a decent bit of soap scum on it and a little bit of mildew too. So I'm going to climb up and pull that down, um, the rings off of the, the shower bar there and just get that on the floor and start scrubbing away. And I'll also take the inner curtain off of the main curtain, the decorative curtain. So that way it'll be a little bit easier to clean and then rinse and hang up. And so yeah, this will be a, a decent bit of work ahead. Now I'm curious, according to my husband, he would just take the curtains down, throw them in a washing machine and wash them that way. But I grew up with always having to wash the shower curtain by hand. And if you didn't feel like washing it, you threw away and got another one. So I'm curious, what do you guys do? Do you throw yours into the washing machine to wash it or do you wash yours by hand? For anyone that is interested, I am using the Grove Collaborative Tub and Tile Cleaner. I find that works really well and since I was planning on using it on the tub and the tiles anyway, I figured the shower curtain that it would probably work well on that too. And it smells nice so I figured anything that could make the bathroom smell good, the better. So I'm scrubbing away with the Grove Collaborative Tub and Tile Cleaner and that's also a um, one of the walnut sponges that you get from Grove Collaborative. So. They work really well together in cleaning the bathroom, especially giving that shower curtain a scrub down. As you'll see here in a minute, once I got done scrubbing it, I hung it back up and tried to rinse it off so that way it was good to go. Um, at this point, I had it sort of pushed outside the tub because I spent a decent bit of time wiping it down and switched to 
cleaning out the tub instead and then after the tub I went to the tiles in order to get them washed down but I spent a good bit of time scrubbing the tub the tiles um, the soap dish there and I even actually went to the master bathroom for reinforcement I have a a brush a scrub brush that I used on the tiles because while the walnut scrub brush or sponge is really good it doesn't have quite the oomph to it that the bristles do on my scrubber brush While you really can't see it at this angle, there was a lot of soap buildup on that soap holder, so I had to really scrub away at it. So that's why you keep seeing me digging away at it with the sponge because it was just relentless and didn't want to come off. So a couple dousings with the tub and tile cleaner and some elbow grease with that sponge, and I finally got it all off. But yeah, there was 
a lot of soap build up there. Okay, this is the part where I finally cried uncle and after having scrubbed at the tiles with the walnut scrubber sponge, I decided to run to the master bathroom and get the scrub brush with bristles on it so that way I could get to the mildew that was growing in the grout in between the tiles because while the sponge is good, the bristles on the brush are just better at getting to the mildew that's growing on the grout which is in between each tile. I don't know why, but the bristles are just better at it. So I finally went over, got that, and it made much quicker work of the whole job using the bristles and scrubbing the tiles that way. And that blue cup you see to the right of me came in mighty handy when it came time to wash the tiles off. The boys actually use that cup, I guess, for rinsing because it's been in the bathroom a while and it happened to be sitting there. So I used that to pour water over the tiles to wash off any residue from the tile cleaner and it worked really well. And then I went to take the scrubber brush back to the master bathroom. And this is how the tub and the curtain turned out. Pretty nice overall. Now on to the vanity and the sink and the mirror. First I had to clear everything off and then I decided to clean the mirror which I used the Grove Collaborative um, glass cleaner for that. And I have to be very careful with washing this mirror because the, I don't know if it was the previous tenants or the owner of the house, but whoever hung this did not do it quite right. And so if you move it the wrong way, it'll fall. So I pretty much end up holding it with my left hand while washing it with my right hand to make sure that when I'm cleaning it just doesn't fall off, which as you watch, you'll see a point where it actually starts to move and I kind of have to push back and make sure it's hung up right so that it doesn't come down. And then I move on to washing the sink and right here I'm just pretty much clearing everything that doesn't need to be on the vanity off and into the medicine cabinet to the left.
Now I noticed that my Grove Collaborative Microfiber Towel seemed to be leaving behind a lot more lint than I'm used to, so I went to get another microfiber towel to do a better job. And off to get a wash rag because I prefer to wash my sink and toilet and those sorts of things with a wash rag as opposed to the microfiber towel. And here I'm using the Mrs. Myers multi-purpose cleaner in the scent lilac. It was one of the spring scents they had. So I'm washing down the vanity with that and let me tell you it makes the bathroom smell so good. I actually really like the honeysuckle scent, but I'm running a little bit low on it, so I figured for the guest bathroom that I would use the lilac scent. After I finished wiping the sink down, I moved on to the front of the medicine cabinet because you would be surprised how dirty those things can get with little boys just touching all over them. So I was giving that a good wipe down to get any fingerprints or smudge marks off of that. And this is the final wipe down for the sink to get any excess water that was sitting around after wiping it down because I don't like water just sitting there and it could air dry but I prefer to just wipe it down with a hand towel and throw the hand towel in the laundry as opposed to just letting the sink air dry. So 
So after the sink, but before the floors comes the toilet, which is naturally a favorite thing to clean. So I sprayed it down good with the Mrs. Myers Lilac Multipurpose Cleaner, gave it a good scrub and a wipe down. So I'm wiping the seat, the lid, the rim, the basin, everything. There's not a part of that toilet really that doesn't get a good wipe down. And so now that I'm done with the basin and cleaning all around the outside, it's off to get the brush because we don't keep the brush in the bathroom that the boys use. And giving the outside of it one more wipe down because when I washed the bowl it seemed to splash some water up so I wanted to make sure I got any extra water or cleaner off of the seat and the rim and the lid in general. Now to remove everything from the bathroom floor so that I can get in there and sweep it and then scrub some tough spots and mop it. Since the bathroom's a smaller room, I usually prefer to just take a small 
hand brush and a little dust pan to it to sweep it so I can get into the smaller corners rather than worry about using a big broom or a vacuum. Now I'm going to spot clean with the Mrs. Myers multi-purpose cleaner because it's tile and I'll just scrub that down real quick with the wash rag to get any harder spots clean on the floor before I come back in with the mop. I used to do pretty much all my floors by hand with water and vinegar or some other spray like that, um, but I also like using the mops. Now I do a combination of getting the harder spots with the multi-purpose spray and then coming back in and just doing the entire floor with the mop. And this is a e-cloth mop, so that pad on it makes it naturally um, antibacterial, so I can mop the floor using just water and that cloth and it cleans great. Time to hang back up the outer decorative curtain. I had put that in the hallway while I finished cleaning the bathroom, so now that's ready to go up. So I'm gonna step up on the tub and get that all hung up. And this is the after of the extreme clean of the bathroom. Curtains are all hung up, the tub is all washed, the tiles are all the soap scummed and cleaned off, the toilet is scrubbed pretty much top to bottom, inside and out, and the vanity is all washed down and organized, and the mirror is cleaned, the floor is scrubbed and washed and sparkling. Thank you for watching my video. If you liked it, please click like below. And if you'd please subscribe below, I'd appreciate it. It's completely free. And then click the little bell for notifications. I hope this video gave you some decorating and home improvement inspiration.